is Shel Schmelzer, I'm part of the Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service Team, and in this demonstration we're going to show you how to access the selected row and the values of the columns in that selected row when working with a table in Visual Builder Cloud Service. Let's build a little application where we have an input text at the top, and after that we're going to have a table. We want the input text to show us the selected record from the table, show, show us some information from there. So let's add some data to the table. We have various business objects. We're going to pick up the celebrity business object. And we're going to show rank, name, and earning. All right, so what we want is for this text item to show us the selected celeb. Okay. To do that, we would want to have an event on the table that actually selects the record, so we want to turn on single selection here. Okay. And then we want to define an event. Now we're going to do an event that is not actually the selection event, but rather a new custom event, and we're going to look at the table events, so not the table events, at the property change events, and one of the properties of the table is called um, first selected row. Okay? And it's get you the key and data of the first selected row. Okay, so let's get a new action for this one. And this action is going to be invoked when this attribute is changing. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can assign a variable okay, to take the value selected and put it inside a variable. So first we need to have a variable on the page, so let's go back to the page and define a new variable. Okay. Um, we can base this on a type, so let's base it on a type that is built based on the celebrity, get the celebrity um, method, and we'll show, we said name and rank and earning. Okay, those are the fields that we're showing. Okay, so this is a variable, the, sorry, this is a type, we'll call it the celeb type. Okay. And um, then what we're going to do is we're going to define a variable. We'll call this one the selected celeb, for example. And the type of this is going to be this type that we just defined, the celeb type. All right. So now let's go back to our action chain where we had the assigned variable and we're going to assign the selected row okay, to the selected celeb. Now, if you remember correctly, the selected row has two aspects. One of the aspects is the data, so this is what we actually want to provide here. So you add here dot data and click Save. All right, and last thing we need to do is, in our page, take this attribute, for example, and hook the data here to be pointing to the selected celeb and the name of the celeb. Okay. Switch to live mode and select a celebrity and you can see the data up there being updated. And of course um, you can change this one to show you more than just this thing. Um, you can do for example and pick up not just the name Maybe add, for example, here, the earnings. There you go. Even get code inside. Okay, switch back to live mode. Oops. Yeah. We have a mistake here. Like that. Okay. And now you can actually see all the information over here. And of course, right now what we're doing is we're just assigning it into a variable and using it here, but you can also pass it somewhere else and do anything you want with the values coming from here.